I was a professional footballer back in the 60s and 70s for Oxford United. Then I got quite some bad, serious back injuries. Joined the police force, took my advanced driving. Then as the years got on, that started getting pain from my back. I thought, well, what am I going to do now? Now I'm finishing the police. They said, go as a driving instructor. So that was 15 years ago and I've been a driving instructor ever since. Over the past few years, Ray has had a lot of back problems and he's had probably seven or eight operations on various parts of his back and obviously being self-employed he can't always work therefore he doesn't get paid and if he's been in hospital for an operation he may need several weeks recovery. My licence was up for renewal because it only lasted four years and that was £300 and at the time obviously being in hospital I wasn't working and if you're not working being self-employed you got to start thinking, well, I've got to pay the mortgage, I've got my car to pay for. Normally when you go going to, to get a loan from somewhere, you, you, your first instinct is go to a bank. They asked how much it was for. I said £500 would be just about right. £300 for the licence, leave me £200 over for like fuel for the car to keep me going until I build my business up. And they looked at it and they thought, no, and they declined me. I showed them all my work which I had coming in, they knew how much I was charging, so they could see I was getting loads more money coming in. They say, always go to your bank, we're always there to help, and they didn't. I was very disappointed. You're just treated as a number. You're just not treated as a personal customer at all. Many years ago in the village, we had a Barclays bank, and you would go in and you could actually go and see the manager. Well, the manager is unavailable anymore. You're just, you're just a number. So when my son told me about Amigo, I rang them up and I couldn't have asked for a better company to deal with it. They were very pleasant on the phone. They sounded very caring. They kept asking me questions, anything more they can do for me. Was, was the amount of money I was asking for enough? They then went all through my incoings and outgoings, which I did with a bank, which they turned me down on. I was raised guarantor. I was quite happy to do it because obviously I know him well enough to know that I don't have a problem with the money. <laughs> yes, it's nice to have a company now that you feel that you can turn to almost like it used to be in the past with the banks that you don't have anymore. You don't have that option anymore with banks. Thanks to Amigo, I've got my licence and I'm on the road. No more worries. To apply, you must be 18 or over, not bankrupt and be able to afford repayments. A guarantor is required who must pay if you can't. Representative 49.9% APR variable.